Because they don't get, because men don't get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. If you can find me men who can become pregnant, uh, I may allow you, but, <laughs> but this is the nature. Um, for men, number one, it's the command of Allah. Because you have to ask yourself, I mean, I believe that the questioner is a Muslim. Okay? Number one, that's what I, this is the answer I give usually when I'm asked in, in Britain, in many countries. Why? We say, number one, because Allah said it's allowed. Number one, you should be proud. You should show your confidence in this religion of Allah. That it is a command of Allah, so we follow the orders. <coughs> Men are more subject to death than women for cases of you know accidents, etc. They are more prone to accident and death than women. Uh, and also for the multiply, multiplication of the ummah. For the multiplication of the ummah. And there are many women who cannot find anyone to support them. For example, for example, a woman that her husband died and she has orphans. Who are going to support them? If we find someone who says, for example, I will marry you and I'll because it's a matter of... The, look, this is very important. The allowance of polygamy came within the context of the orphans. If you fear that you may not deal justly, fairly with the matter of orphans, then marry many of what you choose, whether two, three, or four. There is a relevance. I'm not saying this as a condition. No, it's not a condition. But it shows you the high purposes in Islam. That if you feel that you may not be dealing justly, fairly with orphans, and you know that at the time of the Prophet ﷺ, many people die in the wars. There are many orphans. So if, they, if, if there is someone to come and say, oh, well, I have financially I have no problem. Let me marry you and I'll support your children. Isn't this better? Think about those who don't have anyone to support and they have children and women are weak by nature. What are you going to tell me? Let them go and work? Even women today who go and work, they say to, to their husbands, bring me khaddama shagala. I want shagala. She's not widow. Her children are not orphans. And yet she wants shagala if she wants to go and work. How can, how can you tell a woman who has orphans go and work? That's not fair. That's unjust. There are many other reasons. That's why this, is, this show the greatness of Islam. There's a great relevance to his supporting and the matter of polygamy. But the Westerners don't view it this, this way. <laughs>